to Waylon Jennings. Wow. Rocket Sports on location, Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee. We're very happy to be talking with Waylon Jennings. One of he's going to call me a big old boy here. Nice to see you get dressed up. Here, yeah, he's so going to call me a big old boy. Wanted to talk about your album, Will the Wolf Survive? Tremendous success for you. Working Without a Net was certainly a big hit. And the title cut's a big hit also. Can you compare that to some of your other successful albums? I, um, you know, uh, not really, because it's, um, it's a whole new thing for me. You know, it's um, it's a much more musical album than I've ever done before. I, um, you know, most of my things were just straight ahead and uh, with the just romping beat mm -hmm. and uh, and really a very simple arrangements. And uh, Jimmy Bowen produced this one, and Jimmy's a great producer. He's a lot of fun to work with, mm -hmm. and uh, he's really got it together. And uh, this album, I think, sound wise, is so much better than everything I've done before because it was digital. Mm -hmm. And uh, which is new for me. Do you have a favorite cut off of that album? Yeah, I uh, I like wondering what you'll do when I'm gone. And uh, Larry Butler wrote that song, and that's that's probably my favorite of all of them. Okay, we were in Tucson, Arizona, as you know, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, was and Willie Nelson, close personal friends, and you were part of Stagecoach. Great ratings for the movie. What did you think about the movie? I thought it was good. You know, I thought we we had a lot of fun doing it, and. Uh, um, and I was really, we're really happy with the numbers that it got, you know. Mm -hmm. Number five for the whole week, I think. Right. And number one the night it was on. So sure. I can't complain. And I sure can't put it down. Can you tell us anything about some new upcoming albums you have? We have a couple ideas that we're kicking around. And uh, I can't give them to you because, you know what, one of them wrestlers might beat you to the idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Coming up, the Great American Bash 86. Jim Crockett Promotions, very happy to have you and your better half, as you call her, Jesse Colter, with us on the Great American Bash. I'm sure you're excited about being a part of the Great American Bash. Yeah, me also. and Jesse are going to wrestle each night. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. Okay. No, we're looking forward to it, though, because, you know, a lot of the same people, in fact, they've tried this, you know, like mixing music with sports before. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but they, you know, like basketball, that don't work. No. No. Mm -hmm. And uh, baseball don't work, mainly because trying to sing in the stadium I think I played one time in Bush Stadium, and I think it's still echoing in there. <laughs> but this will work, uh -huh. and because uh, I think a lot of the same people who like country music like wrestling, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, the research that we've done, right. and uh, we're going to have a good time. I guarantee you that. We're in some of the biggest uh, facilities in the country, the Gator Bowl in Jacksonville, Florida, the Liberty Bowl in Memphis, Tennessee. All the wrestlers like to wrestle in front of the large crowds, and I'm sure you feel the same way. The bigger the crowd, right. the better. Really, yeah. yeah. You, it's it's terrible when you go out there and you outnumber the crowd. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm true. sure they're just like we are. You know, they'll put on a much better show mm -hmm. and everything if you got a big crowd. Right. And, uh, and boy, those wrestling crowds are enthusiastic. Boy, they really are. They really are. And that's going to, I'll probably ride off of that for six months. <laughs> <laughs> and you can better believe they're going to be enthusiastic. The Great American Bash, Waylon, once again, thank you very much for your time. And we really look forward to having you with us, the Great American Bash. All right, we're going to do it. You don't wrestle, do you? You're a pretty big old boy yourself. No, not me, not at all. <laughs> thank you very much. Pretty big old boy yourself. <laughs> you know, he was so fucking cool. He was one of those guys you, you thought you could hang out with, you know? Uh, oh, God.